Dear students, now we are going to discuss transmission line parameters in detail. The transmission lines are generally known as electrical lines, which are mainly used to transmit electric energy from one place to another place. The transmission lines are made up of conductors which will transmit electric energy. So the performance of the transmission line depends on the line parameters which are also called as transmission line parameters. There are four transmission line parameters used to describe the performance of the transmission line. The first one is resistance. It is denoted as R. It is measured in terms of ohm per unit length. Since we are talking about transmission line, we have to measure the parameters with respect to the unit length. Here the unit length is kilometer. So the next one is inductance. It is denoted as L. Its unit is Henry per unit length. The next one is capacitance. It is denoted as C. Its unit is Farad per unit length. And the last one is conductance. It is denoted as G. Its unit is Mo per unit length. This is the equivalent circuit of transmission line. Here the parameters inductance and resistance form the series impedance. These two are the series parameters. These two form the series impedance of the transmission line. The shunt parameters Capacitance and conductance form the shunt admittance for this transmission line. The parameters R, L, C and G are uniformly distributed along the transmission line. Hence, these parameters are also known as distributed parameters. The series impedance of the transmission line is denoted as Z. That is equal to R plus J omega L. The shunt admittance is denoted as Y that is equal to G plus J omega C. So let's see each transmission line parameters in detail. The transmission line is made up of conductors. Each conductor has a certain length and diameter. When the current is flowing through the conductor, it must experience some resistance per unit length of the line. The effect of opposing the current flow is called as resistance. The resistance is denoted as R that is equal to rho L by A. So it is depending on the length and diameter of the conductor. It is measured in terms of ohms per kilometer. The next parameter is inductance. When the current flows through the transmission line, it induces the magnetic flux. So consider if it is the conductor, that is the transmission line, if current passes through this, then there is some magnetic flux around this conductor. When the current changes, the magnetic flux also varies due to which the electromagnetic force induces in the line. So here the inductance is denoted as L. L is equal to N phi by I where phi is nothing but flux lines. So here EMF produced in the transmission line resists or opposes the flow of current. It is measured as the inductance of the line. Its unit is Henry's per kilometer. The next line parameter is capacitance. In the transmission line, air acts as a dielectric medium between the conductors. So here, consider two parallel wire transmission. In this, air is acting as a dielectric medium. It looks like a capacitor because it consists of two conductors in close proximity and insulated from each other. So it produces the capacitive effect. 
Due to this, there exists a capacitance associated with the transmission line. It is denoted as C that is equal to epsilon A by D which is also defined as Q by V. Here it is the charge per applied voltage. It is measured in terms of farads per kilometer. Here kilometer means unit length of the transmission line. So the next parameter is conductance. Due to the imperfections of the dielectric medium. So the dielectric medium is not at all a perfect one. There may be some imperfections. So due to the imperfections of the dielectric medium, a small amount of current flows through the dielectric medium. That is called as leakage current. So this gives rise to a leakage conductance associated with the transmission line. It is denoted as capital G and measured in terms of moles per kilometer. So next primary constants and secondary constants of a transmission line. So all these four transmission line parameters are called as the primary constants of the transmission lines. R, L, C and G. These four parameters are the primary constants of the transmission line. All these constants are assumed to be independent of frequency. So there are some secondary constants. Characteristics, impedance, Z0 and propagation constant. The propagation constant is equal to alpha plus j beta where alpha is the attenuation constant and beta is the phase shift constant. So these all are the secondary constants of the transmission line. All these constants are fixed at one particular frequency. These parameters change their values as the frequency changes.